All right, I'm gonna do a box opening of the Marlboro 200 watt portable power station. You can get this on Amazon for about 80 bucks. There'll be a link in the description. So with that said, let's dive right in. This came a couple of days ago. And it's got the uh, battery warning on the box. There's the actual box. Probably weighs about, I don't know how much it weighs. Three or four pounds. Instruction manual. is so we'll put this right there there it is so it's got some plugs there on this end's a flashlight and I know I'm gonna have to charge this thing up so let's hit the power button and see what happens Oh, looks like it's three quarters of the way powered up. So what I'm going to do is something I don't normally do is open the uh, power supply charging box here. So that's a standard wall charger. Get that out of the way. Plug this into the wall, and this plugs into the unit. Charge it on the back there. Flashlight side. I read a little bit about this. This is a cigarette lighter converter adapter that you can plug in one of these ports. If you have one of those cigarette lighter adapter things for your cell phone in your car. And I don't know what this is, but I'll find out. Another cord. So I'm going to get this thing at 100% and then come back and explain what this is. And then uh, I'm going to do a test on it so we can see how long it's going Okay, last. after about 20 minutes of research, I actually read the directions too. This cord which is not listed in the instructions that it came with is for charging a solar panel or connecting to the solar panel so apparently you can get a solar panel and plug this thing in to the uh, power charging port pack here and then hook up a solar panel I guess if you're out on a job site or something like that that may be a good idea but, and then this is the regular power source that everyone's used to. So I'm going to get this plugged in and this goes into the flashlight side. This is not a 100 watt power source. It is a peak solar generator 200 watt power source. But the wattage listed in the description says 100 watts. So. Just take that for what it's worth. Again, the link for the product will be in the description of this video. And hit the like and subscribe button if this helps you out. So I'm going to plug this in. So this is this thing charging right now. And I'm imagining once it's full charge, it'll stop blinking. Or that fourth line will be... Uh, all the way up so stand by all right this thing's been plugged in for about an hour and the third line went solid the fourth line's still flashing but i think it's fully charged i wish it had a percent indicator on it because when you unplug it 
It shows us it's fully charged. Okay, I've got my portable power supply. I'm gonna do a test. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a laptop, I'm gonna run my iPhone, and I'm gonna put my iPhone on hotspot so I can run a laptop and watch um, some TV. And I'm gonna run a um, LED light bulb just to see how long this thing stays running. Right now it's fully charged. So I'm kind of curious because we're supposed to have a power outage. So I'm going to plug everything in and then uh, go from there. USB 1, which is my cell phone charger. And then this is my laptop. And then this is for my light. So everything's plugged in. I need to put my phone on Wi-Fi or hotspot. Okay, I'm ready to test this power supply to see how long it lasts. Theoretically, we have a power outage and I want to run my laptop, I want to use the internet, and I want some light. I have an iPhone that's hotspotted in through Verizon to my laptop. Everything's plugged in. Let's see how long this thing lasts. First thing you need to do is turn the power button on. And then in order to get the uh, laptop and the light, these plugs activated here, you have to hold this button down on the right. And then another little light comes on. It says rock and roll. That beep was the laptop saying, yep, I'm plugged in. Let's put the cell phone on the charger. And let's turn this light on. Lights on. It is 2.07 p.m. on April 2nd. And we're going to let this thing run continuously to see how long it lasts. So we'll be back. We're at about an hour and I'm down one bar. So one hour, one bar. We'll keep an eye on it. We're right at about two hours. This light was flickering a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. And we're still three quarters of the power source available all right two and a half hours and it looks like we're down to 50 percent it is almost eight o'clock p.m and this thing conked out so I'm going to do the math and give an update. Well, I can do the math in my head. It was about 2 o'clock, so I got about five and a half, six hours out of this.